You're watching The Breakfast Club. Rumors, let's talk icky. I say icky. Iggy and... <laughs> you are so rude. Being petty Iggy little, little and swaggy. Little beige-ass petty boy. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Gossip. The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela and Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Girls are icky, huh? Oh, and before we get into Nick Young and Iggy Azalea, I just want to say congratulations to Anthony. He works at Revolt here with us. He's getting married this weekend on Saturday. Just you didn't have to give no applause. Nobody cares. <laughs> That's not nice. That's a big deal. I'm, I'm, for the record, I'm surprised that you know Anthony's name because Diddy doesn't. And he's a, he's <laughs> a producer for our show on Revolt. How you work for Revolt and Diddy don't know your name? Let him celebrate, okay? Well, Diddy met Just him Just one here. time, be nice. Does your fiancé know your name, Anthony? Stop Does she know it, who man. she married? <laughs> be, be nice. But congratulations to him. And Snoop right. the Val, the real brother in that family. That's my homie. <laughs> She's a sister. The real brother. That's his sister, you <laughs> ask. Hey, yeah. Anyway, let us discuss Iggy Azalea versus Nick Young. Now, the rumor is, according to Life and Style, that Nick waited until his other child's mother, Ke uh, Kiana, was four months pregnant to tell Iggy that he's having a baby again. He said it was a one-night stand. It will never happen again. <laughs> Whoa, you can't say that when the baby's in the oven, They bro. already have a four-year-old son <laughs> together. So they said Iggy was supportive of Nick's friendship with Kiana, and he took advantage of Iggy's trust. And that was that. Well, Iggy Azalea took to Twitter to clear that up. She said, I have never even been told by Nick that his baby mother is pregnant. So if this is true, I'm finding out via E! News. Damn. I broke up with Nick because I found out he had brought other women into our home while I was away and caught them on the security footage. This is just like a second shot to the chest. And I feel like I don't even know who the hell it is I've been loving all this time. People in this world really are effed up. Now, if you recall, she did an interview before and she said there's going to be some repercussions if Nick Young cheats on her again. So she's going to have to follow up and do this. Whatever bro code is or whatever unspoken code that is, I don't really care That's because gone. I have a actual spoken commitment that you're going to get married to me. And that involves... Not doing any of those other things. So, like, you will have half a penis. Oh. Right. And I was like, one more video, just one more thing, yeah. and you will lose a quarter of your meat. Well. Hey, oh. now I understand why Nick Young shoots so much, because he has so much heart. Because there is <laughs> no way in hell I'm bringing a woman in the house that I live in with my fiance. That is unforgivable. <laughs> I, he's crazy. There's just levels to this cheating, and that is code orange. That's a different type of violation. That's selling crack where you rest at. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. He just don't care. No. Yeah, so that's it. He can sing as many sad songs as he wants. Well, maybe he was thinking, since it's my baby mom and we already got a child together, it's not really a violation. Well, no, these are other women. She's not saying that it was Oh, just other women mom. in general. Yes. And he knows oh, there's nah, cameras there. It's not like he didn't know there was a camera. He knows there's cameras. Yeah, he's smoking weed in front of the police, blowing the weed smoke all in their face, mm -hmm. looking to get arrested. <laughs> okay, YOLO. Uh, Fetty Wap, in the meantime, is having some issues with his baby mom, Masika, to be uh, exact. Now, they have a three-month-old baby, and she said they had a very specific deal to keep that child out of the limelight. But if you saw Fetty Wap did post a picture of the baby recently, very cute baby, by the way, and she thinks that he's also a bad father who was there for the birth and a doctor's appointment, but that was it. She said that all on Twitter. What else you got to be there for? The baby. The child, she said the she, baby. The birth and the doctor's appointment? The baby's new. The baby's three months old, so that's the only time you're going to see the baby? been on the road. Well, Come she, on, for real, seriously, you gotta yo. see a baby, man. Like, that sounds crazy. He's a bad father. He was only there for the birth and <laughs> the doctor's appointments. Huh? That's what you're supposed to be there for. He should be there more than that. Just not, okay, one doctor's appointment up there and the birth from there. I mean, I don't know old? how much he's there. I just know that's what she's saying. He's so. a, Now, listen, Fetty Wap's an artist with a lot of hot records. He's on the road a lot. It's only been three months. What does that mean he's not there? Well, he told you this is your first go around. My oldest is five years old. STFU and stop complaining. STFU. I'm old. What's, oh, okay. Shut the F up. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I like to say STFUF. Shut the F up forever. Right. Mm -hmm. So who knows what's going to happen with these two, but hopefully they uh, stop arguing via social media. Mm -hmm. And if you remember Oscar So White, that hashtag and last Oscars, well, it turns out yesterday they added 683 new members to their voting body. And 46% of those new members are female and 41% are people of color. Oh, minorities. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that includes <laughs> Idris. Vivica, Morris Chestnut, Michael oh, B. Jordan, Nia Long, Gabrielle Union, Marlon and Damon Wayans have also been added. Um, 
O'Shea Jackson as an Ice Cube has also been added. But if you put all those numbers together, even though all these new people have been added, that only still makes up about 2 to 3% of the whole entire body. So they added all those people and yes. it's still only 2%? Yeah. That's crazy. That's why they're minorities. What does that mean, by the way? What do you mean? What do they get to do? They get to vote on the Oscars. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Got you. All right. So and now they got to watch all those terrible movies. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Those people don't watch all those movies. I wouldn't either. They Most don't. of the movies that win those awards be horrible. They send Trash. me all those movies. I, I don't know what a, what thing I'm a part of, but they send me all those movies. I never watch none of them. They be artsy, like Birdman. Remember Birdman? That I mean, was the dumbest movie I've ever seen. I didn't well, watch I it. Did watch and I still don't of... know if Michael Keaton flew away at the end of the movie or not. Was he really a bird? I don't know. A lot of movies it. I probably wouldn't have watched I did watch because of the Oscars. Like The Big Short. That was a great movie. That was good though. Spotlight. That was a good Spotlight. movie too. I didn't see that. Watch him on the plane. Big Short was good though. All right, and that is your rumor report plane on Angela movies. Yee. That's exactly what they are. All right, Miss Yee. <laughs> Watch them on the plane. You got nothing else to do. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. What are we talking about? Uh, yes, we are going to talk about why you need to go to college, okay? What's going on that they're saying it's better if you go to college. Some people feel like it's not a big deal. Okay, we'll get into that when we come back. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Now it's time for Ask Ye, 800-585-1051. If you got a question for Ye, you could call her right now. Hello, who's this? Hey, it's Erica. Hey, what's your question for Ye? Is me on my question. I'm sorry. So I've been friends with this guy for some years now, and we finally decided to take it there and have a relationship. Okay. But um, I've been single for a while, and I've had a lot of guy friends. A lot of times when I'm with him, you know, they'll call me and I kind of look at my phone like, I don't know if I should answer that. Well, are these guy friends friends with benefits or guys you used to mess with or are they just platonic friends? Some are platonic. Uh, maybe on a couple of days ago with somebody you messed with. But the day after, it was a platonic friend. So I kind of just look at my phone like, uh, do you know, they, I don't want to. Do they know you have a boyfriend now? Well, we haven't. We didn't offer him so yet. Yeah. Uh, we, this is the most serious we've ever played. You've never decided to take it this thing. So are you looking to having a future with him? Are you intending to lock it down? I am. That's why I'm curious about the few phone calls. I okay, well, of course you should not answer the phone for other guys in front of him in that case. But I do think it's important if you are taking it seriously, if you respect some of these other guys... You need to let them know, look, I'm dating somebody seriously now, and I want to see where it goes, so I'm just giving you the heads up. Just let them know. I okay. think, And if there's guys that you don't really care about that much, you can just fade out and just not talk to them anymore, and that's fine, too. But I do feel like if you really want to give something a serious shot, you kind of have to go all in and go for it, if that's what you want to do, because you would hate to ruin something that could be a great thing for all these little side pieces. Right, that's why. I, that's how I feel. But then I feel like I look crazy because you came my phone and not answer. <laughs> right. I mean, eventually, since this is fairly new for you, these guys will stop calling you. But for the ones that you're cool with and that you respect and that you have real, you know, deeper than just little flings with, you should let them know that you're getting serious with somebody. Just so. You know, just out of respect for them because you would want somebody to do that for you. And also, obviously, you don't want the guy that you're dating to pick up for other women. And I'm sure he has other situations that have to fade out as well. Right. right. So, you know, you got to lead by example always. Do what you want him to do for you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, who's this? I just have a question for you. Okay. My friend, uh, she had a first baby with this guy. She basically wasn't married, nothing like that. And then they broke up, and then they got back together, and then she was going to go to Dallas for gas food, and then he came along the way, and it was like, oh, he's going to Dallas too. So then, obviously, they kind of cordially came back together. Okay. Now, they're, like, back together talking, and then they're talking about later on babies, having more babies, and uh, marriage, and I told her, like, look, man, (laughs) keep that off the table and just focus on your school. Mm-hmm. You know, focus on finishing school first, and if they ain't no ring on it, then uh, after that, then no babies, none of that. But y'all, y'all can still smash though. You know what I mean? If y'all want to, but make sure whatever you do, it, no baby come up. What you think about that? I mean, I think that she's gonna do what she wants to do, regardless of what you say. A lot of times, we could not like somebody for one of our friends for whatever reason, and it's really none of our business. I can't. I can give you advice if you ask me for it. 
But you don't want to be in a situation where you tell her something and, you know, she's in love or she's, she does something else and now she's embarrassed to even talk to you about it. So I think you have to be supportive of whatever decision that she makes. Now, if she asks you, what do you think? I think you're very much entitled to give your advice or if she's seeking it. Yes, but I don't... Yes, ask me. Ask me. Yesterday. Oh, she asked you what you thought. Yeah, she asked me and everything, and I told her exactly how I thought. If you, you said if she has another baby again, then what? I would diss her, like, you know, like, I keep it straight with my friends, like, I what? would diss well, Hold on, you can't diss her for decisions that she makes if that's really your friend. Well, that's she's my friend, that I don't want her to make that kind of decision, because, you know, I, I, had, I had a mom who had four different, uh, you know, kids and everything with different dads, you know what I mean? Right. And I don't want I don't want to live that life and I try to advise her like yo. Listen, it's great that you care about your friend. It's great that you want to give her advice. But one thing that I've learned in dealing with all of my friends, a lot of times they have to learn these things on their own. A lot of people know what it is, but they're gonna make decisions based on whatever, how, however they feel at the time. So you can say whatever you want, and that's truly your friend. You'll be there for her no matter what it is that she decides to do. You won't cut her off. Just because she made some bad decisions in life, which is no, something that we I, I'm all not do. Gonna start, I'm not going to cut her up, but I do this because I told her straight up, and she understands that. Like, right. she's not high. you're going to grad school for Delaware. You need to focus on that. That's right. And, and you, should, encur- and you should keep on encouraging her as her friend, but I don't think that you should be harsh about whatever decisions that she makes. Just understand, no. it's not all going to be like, oh, he I, said I should do this, I'm going to do it. So you think I'm too harsh on her? I mean, I think that if somebody, have you made some bad decisions in life that people would tell you don't do that, don't do that, but you do it anyway? No, I, I don't. I can't. Th- I can't think of right now. All I've been doing is hustling and trying to get into a medical school, and I'm starting this fall. And she knows that. That's right. all I've been doing. And she always says, "Why are you moving here? Moving here?" Because I'm always hustling. Like I'm all always- right. Well, listen. Good. Be supportive of your friend. Just don't be judgmental. I, I, I. Just encourage her and keep reminding her. Right, you be positive, influence for her. Don't make her feel like she can't talk to you about things because you're judging her or you're going to diss her on something that happens. And if she asks for your opinion, you should give your opinion as candidly as possible. But do understand that whatever happens, you're there for her. If that's your real for real friend. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, ask E, 800-585-1051. If you got a question for you, you can call her or email her, breakfastclubam at gmail.com. The Breakfast Club.